What's going on guys? It is currently Wednesday. Uh, it's just the morning right now, so we're about to do a dunk session later on today. Um, and just thought I'd let you guys know sort of what my plans are for this dunk session. I haven't actually dunked or jumped at all or done really any type of physical or any, ty any type of exercise for the past few days. So I'm sort of just hoping to get some good height. Uh, uh, I do feel pretty good, my knee's holding up pretty well, I have been doing my rehab and uh, stretching and foam rolling consistently so hopefully that pays off uh, and yeah I hope to get some good height. The weather is slowly getting warmer now uh, and it's sort of transitioning from that winter to that spring phase but very slowly uh, so I can't really see a difference you know, uh, in my body yet based on the weather but I am feeling pretty good today. Hopefully just going for some height, go on nine, see how I go on nine and a half, try 10 feet and then maybe drop down, do some low rim practice, uh, things like that. Don't have much uh, else planned, just sort of gonna wing it, see how I go. Um, but yeah, I'm just really keen for summer, uh, not only to see where my vertical is at by summer, but you know, as the weather changes and gets warmer, then you naturally jump higher. That's just how the body works. Um, we jump better in warmer conditions. Some people can, you know, uh, are pretty much the same in winter and summer uh, but that's pretty rare for me I suck so bad in winter uh, but in summer I'm much better so I can't wait for summer and to see where I'm at yeah so today we're just gonna wing the session see how it goes hopefully I can get some close uh, well not really attempts on 10 feet but get some good height on 10 feet uh, but yeah that's about it hope you guys enjoy the session Alright, so we are at the basketball court now. Uh, I'm just really going to do some light sort of shooting around just for the sole purpose of just getting some active recovery in and also just working on my shooting a bit also because it sucked lately um, in games and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think it's really important just sort of 
uh, on your off days, on your rest days, even just to come out and play basketball or do something very light uh, just for that active recovery. It's really underrated and it will, it will speed up your recovery so fast. I think a lot of people, they'll think, you know, if they just rest and do nothing, then that's even better. But at times it is uh, when you're heaps, heaps sore, but maybe a couple days after one of your hard workouts to just come, do an active recovery, maybe go for a walk, you know, if you walk your dog or just go for a light jog or just play some light basketball, nothing too strenuous, just, you know, shooting around, something like that. It will help with your recovery, uh, therefore allow you to be back doing your workouts quicker and then allow you to get more stronger, more explosive, more faster, more athletic overall. So that's a huge uh, piece of advice I'd give to you guys is to always incorporate active recovery because it helps you know get rid of that lactic acid build up in your muscles from your previous workout and then you're able to uh, hit the gym or hit the court the next day or one of the next days feeling refreshed so yeah we're gonna shoot some hoops now and yeah enjoy Three hours later. <laughs> Look at this color coordination. The black pants with the gray jumpers with the gray oh, Okay. Yeah, we didn't plan this. Did, we... <laughs> Did you just want to go? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Nah. Let's See you, man. See you, man. We out. It is freezing. Alright guys, we just finished eating up sushi, so we're about to go to the gym, it's a pool day. Um, I'm going to do a commentary because I haven't done one in so long, uh, and I want to make the videos a bit more informative from now on. Uh, I haven't done that in a long time, and uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit less of the edit sort of things for now, even though I don't do it that often, and I uh, really keep this, uh, these, video these cars, keep these videos as informative as I can. Um, you know, with the commentary, with my workouts, my recovery, etc., like that, everything like that, I'm gonna add in. So, pool day, we got some deadlifts, uh, and from there, we'll just do some accessories. But other than that, that's about it. See you guys at the gym. Peace. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another commentary. So, as you can see, I started with deadlifts today. I just did the standard three sets of five um, before I hop back up onto my program and start with specific rep ranges, percentages, etc. Uh, now, who, whoever's been following along with my YouTube channel and my Instagram knows that I've been pulling sumo lately. The reason that I have switched back to conventional is to put less stress on the hip flexors. Uh, sumo deadlifts, they are very hip dominant, uh, and even though they put less stress on the lower back, uh, doing sumo deadlifts and jumping at the same time will, can wear your hip flexors out like crazy. So uh, that's why I've switched back to conventional, um, and I'm also lifting very sub maximally during my dunk prep the focus isn't on lifting it's more on jumping so it's not heavy lifting um, so it's a good time to work on my conventional form so as you can see here I'm bracing uh, taking a deep breath pushing against my belt to increase that what we call intra abdominal pressure um, and I'm also straightening my back before I lift the weight off the ground so a lot of people they won't get in a good position before they lift and then the lift will end up being ugly They'll have that sort of turtle shell where they round their back heaps, looking like Franklin the turtle. <laughs> but make sure you, before you lift the weight off, you're, you're just straightening that back. You're squeezing every uh, your, your core and you're squeezing your quads, glutes, and then thrusting that weight up. So here I did a stiff-legged. I did two sets of 12. This is just a good variation for your deadlift to increase that and also help with your vertical as well. I'm just hinging at the hips making sure that my legs stay in a stiff position, going down as far as I can without my lower back rounding. As soon as you see your lower back start to round, then just go back up. Um, and this sort can sort of be fixed, but I see a lot of people going down too much, maybe hitting the floor when they're, when they're not able to do that and they're with good form and their lower back starts to round. So go as far down as you can uh, without your lower back rounding and make sure to keep the legs stiff. And yeah, that's all for this exercise. After this, I just did some barbell rows, three sets of 10 to 12 reps. 
Uh, I'm just using 50 kilos here. With this, I'm making sure that my uh, I'm pulling the bar close to my legs and like my sort of my belly button area. A lot of people, the bar, it'll go too far in front of them and they'll pull their body weight forward. And they also won't use their back enough because it's not close enough to their body. Uh, for this, I just did, after this, I just did some uh, variation, oh, not some variation, just some accessory work. So here's just the machine row. I do four sets of 12 for this total. The first three sets are like I'm doing here. So um, just normally uh, rowing both arms at once, um, making sure I can really feel the squeeze in my back. And for the final and fourth set, I do it one arm at a time. And this is great for just finding any muscle imbalances you have. You might figure out that one side is stronger than the other and that, that way you can fix that. And I'm really letting my sort of shoulder blade pull me forward and then squeeze my rhomboid and my lats and just uh, move, move the weight back by just squeezing my back muscles. And on this exercise, it's virtually the same thing, uh, except a lot more core work is involved because it's not a machine. You have to sort of stabilize yourself um, and you want to make sure that your core isn't really moving uh, without you wanting to move it. You're in control of your core the whole time, which is super important in basketball and in jumping. You want to make sure you have a lot of core strength and uh, yeah, just a lot of stability. Uh, then I just finished off with three sets of 12 basic hammer curls. Just to get in some uh, isolation work, I usually just do one set of curls or one set of extensions, whether it's a push day or a pull day, uh, just to help build muscle. Um, and then I just finished with these hanging leg raises, uh, three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Now here I'm trying to go as high as I can. Um, so this is a great way to sort of progressive overload on this lift. Each lift you do, try find a way to make it harder and harder. So uh, one day you might come just, you know, halfway the next day you might be trying to go fully up to near where your hands are and I would usually do a full core workout but uh, I did deadlifts on this day so I just did this exercise so I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary I'm out see you guys in the next clip all right guys I am going to wrap up this video here if you enjoyed it please like that vid like this video and if you haven't hit that subscribe button just just hit that subscribe button I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I had a lot of training in it, I had the dunk session and had this workout. Now I just want to clarify with this workout, if you, you maybe you want to do it but you're not sure whether or not it applies to you, uh, whether your goal is to increase your vertical, build strength, build muscle, this, uh, this workout is perfect uh, for you. It incorporates all three, so maybe like the first portion of the workout with the deadlifts and stuff like that, that's really going to help with your strength, your vertical, um, and even build muscle, uh, and then sort of with the rows, that's a really good back builder and good for your strength. Um, it's a very nece necessary movement for building strength and, and muscle. Uh, and then you've got your accessory movements such, such as your rows on the machine and on the cable as well and, and then your curls which will specifically build muscle and that will also help build strength as well. So if you want to do this workout and you're not sure whether it's you know right for you, if your goals are either one of those three, whether it's build muscle, gain strength, increase your vertical, then definitely try this workout out. Hope you guys took something away from this video. Got a lot more informative content and vlogs coming soon. And that dunk series starting very soon on September the 1st. So make sure to subscribe to see that. Uh, and also tap that bell as well to get a notification. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out. Got to go stretch, foam roll, eat, etc. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.